Welcome back, guys. Here we are at another Joe's Diner meet. Oh, look, it turned up. Quick six. Love that car. Nathan, top like. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll have a chat to him. But before we go anywhere else, check out this Bel Air. Now, this thing was a street machine cover car. It has had pretty much absolutely everything you can do to a car done to it. So we're going to have a quick chat to the owner. His name's Charlie. It's a bit, it's a bit precious. So let's get him over. Charlie, come, come here, mate. Hey, good big man. fella. How's it going? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, yeah, good. Another good day at Joe's Diner. Always, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You always, how do you always get the good spot here? Oh, look, I think Steve has a bit of preference. Yeah, he looks after us. You he know, does. So that, he <laughs> does. That he does. That he does. You did, you did end up in one of the Joe's Diner shirts. So obviously he does like yes, it. He yes. likes it a bit, doesn't he? Yes, yes. Got a couple of Di Joe's Diner shirts that um, get a fair amount of wear. <laughs> that's for sure. Now, this is um, our bell or you know, your bell. Yep. Um, you spent years building it. You know, tell me a little bit about it because there's so much <laughs> to yeah. point out. So tell yeah. me the basics about it all. Oh, okay. So, um, so 57 Bel Air and 486 cubic inches of big block Chevy um, managed to buy a Holly Terminator, uh, Edelbrock heads and one thing or another. 600 horsepower on the engine dyno to run it in initially. So it didn't give it a hard time. Um, a so, four wheel. Yeah. Yeah, how long does it, did it actually take you to build this car? So it was um, about four and a half years uh, to build. And, um, and when we finished it, we finished it just in time for the 2020 uh, Summer Nets. Yes. And we went down there and became the elite champion. That would have been an awesome feeling. After, after all the years of work and then, and then to get that. Absolutely. And then you made it on the cover of Street Machine as well. Yes, yes. Um, ended up on the cover, uh, which was really nice. Yeah. And they did two photo shoots, one yeah. in one in bare metal. That's and, right, yes. Yeah, yeah, and we had a fully functional car in bare metal except for the interior. Yeah. So we sat on a blocks of wood and yeah, drove, right. drove it around in bare metal just to understand the wheel alignment ride heights. Now, before we get into the interior, the boot, the engine bay, let's have a look at the outside first because a lot of the custom work went outside yes. of the car, especially the fact that you took away the normal trim yeah, that would go yeah. along here. You've That's just right, done this. Flash. We got rid of the flash. Yeah, and this, um, you've got this perfect little black strip yeah. now that goes through the whole thing. And now that black theme yes. follows along all the other metal that would normally be chrome. And it just looks spectacular. Yeah, so we wanted to keep the color scheme simple. You know, a couple of colors with a little bit of bling. Yeah. So you see a little bit of bling around the wheels. Uh, and just interior, enough. Just enough to tone it down. Otherwise, we kept the black on the trim and around the windows. You can see our flash-mounted windows. That's what I mean. Like, that's a lot of work. Like, all there's, there's no longer any chrome trims around the front or the back window. Nice. And the, the, the cool feature about these windows is you, you can control the entire car off your phone, that's can't correct. you? Yes. So, yes. what, you can click a button and all the windows yeah, go yeah, up, don't yeah, they? Yes, yes. I think I can give you a demo. Uh, let me just have a look here. And what system is that? That allows so you to do all that. It's Infinity. It's okay. built by some people in the States. The and Americans, they, yeah. yeah, so they primarily do it for their fire trucks, ambulances, oh. Dakar race cars. Uh, actually got it in some yachts. Yeah. So it's ruggedized electronics. It's semi-waterproof, dustproof, yeah. vibration-proof. You know, so it's all all ruggedized electronics. So, so pretty much nothing that you need because this thing never gets dirty or watery, does it? Th well, it rained on me this morning doing oh, a did it? drive, oh, no. <laughs> believe it or not. But <laughs> anyway, um, yes. So obviously when you're in the car, it's a bit hard to see here. You're not playing with your phone. So everything on my phone here is mimicked yeah, on yeah. that touchpad. And the idea is to use a touchpad. Uh, we'll go to Windows and we'll do uh, rear drivers up. Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah. And so, you can control the rest of the car too on yes, here, like your so airbags, your engine. Everything, lighting, starting, air con, op ridiculous. open the doors. So um, let's, let's have, it's obviously got all the gadgets. So let's have a quick look inside because I love the interior. The interior is just so, next level. So Cam Haywood from North Coast Custom Trim uh, is responsible for all the interior and Every major show we've gone to, we've taken out the interior awards. Wow. 
And um, I love um, on the dash where you'd normally have that traditional Bel Air yes. uh, trim, you know, the, the really That's nice right. detail. Yes. You've actually continued that from the grill, from the front grill um, yes. on the inside of the dash, and yes. then that pattern kind of follows through the whole car. That's right. It's on the uh, on the brake pedal, accelerator pedal pads. On the brake, as yeah. Well. Um, it is too, right? You know, yeah. so. Um, yes, we we wanted to carry that that um, that pattern from yeah. the grill into inside, and um, it's just subtle enough to say, oh look at that, you know, yeah. I, I like that or I don't like that. Let's and, uh, let's have a look because it doesn't stop there as far as custom work. God, the doors close nice too, don't they? <laughs> You know how normally you, you go into a car that's had a respray and the doors yeah, just that, bounce yeah, back? Yeah. That, that doesn't, didn't do that. That doesn't happen. No. no. Can we have a look under the bonnet? Because that's one of my favorite parts. Oh, you put, you put your windshield wipers back on. Yeah. Sacrilege. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. So, uh, as I said before, 486 cubic inches of big block Chevy, naturally aspirated. Um, Holly Terminator uh, fuel injection system, Edelbrock Performer heads, um, and we made our own uh, headers. Uh, and one thing, PWR manufactured the radiator for us, it's designed for this car. Uh, yes. And obviously, underneath, it's all IFS as well. Everything's been completely modernized That's the chassis, right. the rear end, everything is. Yes, so in the early days, it was about understanding what sort of suspension and stuff that you wanted. Yeah. Um, once I understood what I needed, it was then buy an IFS from the roadster shop in yep. the States, buy the 14-inch bare brakes, six-pot racing calipers, buy the airbag system. Um, and, then, and, then, and then put it all together somehow. Then bring it out. And this is, Nico, this is the, the front grill, the custom-made front grill that I was talking about. Yes. And you can see that pattern actually follows through to the inside of the car. And I love this splitter under here yes, so that actually folds into the body as well that's right. and it's a nice thick piece of metal too like it's that's it's right. it's not just plastic no 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 and the air induction system for the air, is the filter is just behind here yeah so it actually so it's all works. functional too all functional. So yeah. the air filter is behind here so it picks up clean cold air comes up through these tubes into the engine that's super cool and i love the the, the firewall and yes so it, the inner every, guards and firewall chris uh chris wells built all that it's stuff. awesome man yeah, there's no fiberglass no plastic on this car it's all sheet metal can we um can we hear it uh yeah i think so what do you mean uh yeah of course you mean let's go are oh, you gonna turn it on through your phone he's gonna look at that he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna turn it off through his phone sneaky bugger so, uh, yeah let's have a look so uh, come around the, come around the back because i want to hear it at the back And also the rear bumper, a lot of custom work in the rear bumper as well. Yeah, that, that's completely um, uh, manufactured. <laughs> it turns on like a brand new car, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Dude, this thing is sick. And then you can turn it off. Look at that. Mate, I, I love this car, dude. I love it. And thanks. I don't think there's anybody else who's built a car in Australia that has that uh, this level capability. Of, yeah. Yes. I think we um, introduced another level of technology. Mate, you did. It's a very... When I first saw it and I first saw and I was talking to you, I was like, this is very SEMA spec. Yeah. Like, top dollar, top job, That's right. good parts, yeah. put together... By good Correctly, people. yes. By good, by good, smart. People. Thanks so much, man. No worries. I love mate. it. My pleasure. Thanks for watching, guys.